Welcome to Iron Man Raid Specialist, featuring Quan Man Raid. The goal of this series is to acquire gear and skills to perfect a Raids Willing Specialist account. Every 75 Raids I can go for 1 of 19 upgrades necessary to build this account, ending at 1500 Soul Raids. Please enjoy the series. Hello guys, it's been a while since the last part of this video, but uh, I was working on a really really big one hour video for the PVM Bible Guide, getting people into PVM for the first time. So if you are looking to get into PVM for the first time, I'll put a link at the top that will send you to the Bible. I put over a month's work on that, so check it out. But anyways, we're back. I've been playing mostly same hours, just haven't had time to edit, so yeah. Anyways, last episode, we did... Hydra for the first time on this account because we finally unlocked the ability to grind for the ferocious gloves at 1275 solo chambers KC so here we are at Hydra and uh, Of course, I went with the range method especially with the dragon hunter crossbow I actually never used that before because I only used Tebow back on my other account, but it's pretty good the only downside is just the rubies, they actually do take a lot of HP out of you. So I decided, honestly, I haven't really done much melee, and I found melee really fun in Trailblazer League when I played it. So I thought maybe the rape here could do some good work, and plus, I don't have to worry about like ammunition usage at all, because rape here is just, you know, straight up permanent. So yeah, I went for that. And the melee method is pretty good, even without a lance. The rape here was doing solid work. Low too many kills. And honestly, later on in this video, you'll see some crazy times that I, I would never have expected from a rapier. So I know most people end up ranging Hydra and probably don't know too much about how melee Hydra works. But let's just say melee Hydra is very comparable to range in time outside of the Tebow. Okay, the Tebow is obviously the big daddy of weapons here. But if you're going to use a blowpipe or dragon hunter crossbow, honestly, melee can compete with that. For main accounts, Dragon Hunter Lance is disgusting at Hydra, and you don't have to cover for ammunition costs at all. For Iron Man, you can save yourself a lot of scales. A lot of people are going to end up using a blowpipe at Hydra, but if you have a Hosta and especially a Rapier, you can get some good times and save a lot of scales. So I think melee might end up being more time saver overall, just because no Zora. Uh, so easy to like just position yourself with melee, dude. Keep attacking the boss, don't really do anything. Let the boss guide you towards your destination. So good. So I have basically ran out of GP for a while now because I haven't been doing much content that gives me too many alcohols. Like a little bit from Theater of Blood, but not enough to cover for like the runes I gotta buy from my trident and the money that I gotta spend to let the Narda lady turn my potions and clean my herbs and stuff. But finally, perfect timing, just as I ran out of money, Hydra hooks me up. 20 kills, it's like 1 mil GP right there in Aux. So yeah, we're basically all set with money once we finish these Hydra grinds with these upgrades here. Oh wow, what the? Okay, that was my fastest Hydra time so far with the rape here. 153, the 149 was with the uh, blowpipe DHTB. Since Hydra came out, I've never been a fan of counting. And so I try my best to find like visual cues that help me so that I can avoid counting. For example, when Hydra starts the fight, it's always going to be three hits first, right? But as soon as those first three hits happens, it's going to throw the poison. And the best thing about the poison is that it's a visual indicator because as soon as the poison disappears, that means Hydra is going to switch his attacks. And recently, I've been finding more and more cues. A pretty good cue was electricity. So when Hydra throws out the electricity, it will shoot three hits before the electricity fully finishes. So if it was on like the last attack style, and then it's gonna switch and then it does electricity, just know that by the end of electricity, it's probably gonna go back to the original style that it was before. Ooh, that's sick, nice. All right, cool. When did they add that, like the buy all? That's actually sick. 100 KC, small little milestone here of triple digits. 
gotten quite good at the melee method now. It's very comfy. Also a lot easier to tank hits if you mess up your prayer switches though, so... Just focus more on uh, keeping mage up, and uh, usually I can tank some range hits if I mess up a miscount. And I- oh! First unique drop! Hey! Looks like it's uh, gonna be a brimstone ring piece, I suppose. Alright, okay, that's cool. Have you ever wondered what scything Hydro would be like? We know Tebow kicks ass and Scythe is kind of like the melee overpowered version, right? But uh, frankly, it's not that good. Only tried it because my boy Mary J who went 3000 drive for his Scythe just kept insisting. You know, and I had to give it, so. We proved once and for all that it just ain't that good. The times, honestly, were like rapier times. Except you had to waste so much more money to do the same exact thing, so. Yeah, for science guys, just for science. I am going to try something a little bit different with this video. Back in the day when I made prize videos, I would just go with a lot of dialogue. But I've been trimming a lot of that recently. But I think I'm going to bring some of it back. Just because I kind of miss it. Let me know what you guys think. Whoa, that's actually insane bro. 149? Oh my god. Jesus, I actually beat my blowpipe DHCB time. Oh shit, I'm gonna push it. Claws go. Yeah, nice. Don't have to worry about electricity. Good push. Can we get ourselves the nope? Oh, what? What is that time, dude? What the? Nani? What is that time? What the heck? 138. That's, that's literally like a twisted bow time, dude. Uh, okay. Wow, that's some, uh, okay, what the heck, I'm not even like fully potted or anything. But anyways, that that's a sick time though, oh my god. That was like a twisted bow time right there, but yeah, we finished the Hydra test. Only got a first brimstone piece, no signs of the gloves. So that means we have to do the dreaded um, mission of finding another Hydra task. so hopefully we get it soon. But look at that, I made like over 5 mil GP. I forgot to some stuff, so maybe like 6 mil, really. So that's awesome, man. I can stock up on runes with that. Nice. 5,000 Astro runes from Hydra. Hell yeah. Nice. I can run my Venges and stuff. Oh, yes. Easy. 9 Skeletal Wyverns for the first boost. Point boost. Let's go. Okay. Wait, these things only have 120 HP? Okay, much better. I can't believe this, but uh, 39 bronze dragons with this setup is literally under 10 minutes to do. So we'll, we'll, we'll find out in a second here. Wait, what the hell am I attacking here? I can't see anything, yo. Yo, am I fighting an invisible kraken, dude? So I wonder... Oh, I did it! Okay, okay. Let me see if I can replicate the glitch. So, so if I hit this guy again, in a second here, I should, it should be invisible. Because I think that's what I did. Okay, now see, what happens if I hit him? Does he get glitched? Oh, that's the glitch? Ah, I did it, I got the glitch. Alright, this is a 100 task streak, I think. Wow, that is so nasty, 500? Damn, that's a lot of skips. And I think at 750, every 250 is another huge streak. So if I do 50 more tasks... Oh, that's nice, dude. That's so nice. That's gonna help a lot with uh, Hydra, Hydra tasks. Alright, so we're gonna unblock Greater Demons. And if I get Drake's, I'm gonna... I'm gonna basically block it, so... Hydras, let's go, man. Although, it's at, like, the very end of the day. But, damn, this is a fat one. This is, like... Why are people happy size, dude? God damn, this is like Big Mac size. Oof. And with the Slaughter Bracelet, that's like 60 more kills. That's like 250 kills right there. Let's go. And I got so many Slayer points too. In case I don't get it. Oh god, I jinxed it. In case I don't get it this, uh, this task. I have some more points. Don't mess me with that, you know? What is this? I wasn't recording! Hold on, hold on. Before I get DMC, I gotta pause this music. Yo, I got it. 
No way, bro. But I, I guess I'll give you the uh, the stream uh, version of when I got the drop. Oh, we actually got the gloves first. Oh my goodness. Actually, sick, dude. No troll. Actually, no troll, man. Oh, holy crap. I Okay, that's awesome because I, I can go do some TOB with the Pharaoh gloves now, too. Holy shit. I actually got it, though. 209 kills. Yes. I was really hoping to get lucky on this. Yes, dude. Yes. That's awesome, man. We actually got lucky on this. All right, let's go make the gloves. Uh, so how are we going to use this gloves? I'll talk in a second here. This is such a big upgrade for me, uh, especially at the Theater of Blood. Just because it is so much nicer in accuracy and strength. Two more strength over Barrel's Glove and four more slash and all the stab and crush as well. So yeah, that is nice. This is a... Uh, this is definitely the motivator that I need to try to push for the Sang staff. So I always knew that the thieving room as of late gives around 3,000, but I didn't realize it was a flat 3,000. So if thieving room is the first room and I hit 3,000, I'm guaranteed done with the room. Oh, I see. I just saw the new Jad transmog there. The Inferno Jad transmog. Pretty cool. You can check out that one. Oh, wow, that was so unlucky. <laughs> Did I actually get 28th, 27th in one take? Oh my god, that was actually insane. Alright, so all the dragon bolts that I got from Vorkath is now pretty much uh, turned into the bolts. Damn, they don't last too long, man. So with this current setup with the Ferocious Gloves and being overloaded, I can actually gain a new max hit of 48. So it's definitely worth bringing at this point because not only is it a max hit, it's also more accuracy, which is always pleasant. The only downside is I would have to sacrifice an extra brew to bring it if I was not going to take away any other switches, right? And four brews for a self-scouting solo raid setup like I have to do is very risky, especially without a Sang Staff. See, the thing with the Sang Staff is that... I don't need the Ancestral Hat to gain the maximum hit. So if I had a Sang Stab, I could also drop the Ancestral Hat, which would automatically mean I gain extra space. Which, you know, would free up a brew or like Tacit or something for speedrunning. So yeah, there's just like such a big deal. Too bad it's so rare. Which wasn't so rare, I guess, in my case. Wish I got. So there's a misconception that I've noticed with new solo raiders is that they think you have to no prep to get good raids. And in fact, that's not true. Here is a raid that is really good. You have Guardians, Tightrope, Mystic, Shamans, Crabs. You have to prep this raid, but it's still an insanely fast raid. Because you know what's next? Mana Dial. Damn, only two and a half brews. See, I would, I would have three and a half. All right, so this is basically the limit test here. How well are we going to do with two and a half brews? Since I am missing one brew from bringing the ferocious gloves right now. All right, we barely just made it, honestly. Got got uh, one brew left, which normally would have been two brews. But yeah, that got kind of close. So uh, I think what I'm going to actually do is um, I decided I'm going to bend the ancestral hat. Just because I'd rather gain a max hit on melee than a max hit on mage. Because max hit on melee means that I technically gain three maxes with a scythe. Because it hits three times in a row. In uh, in one shot. So so that way I can maintain the same amount of brews. You know. Definitely the right call in that case. It's going to feel so different though. I'm, I'm actually kind of excited you know. Like my switches and stuff are going to be so different. As a result of not bringing an extra hats that's actually gonna be so cool man i actually can't wait to show you guys the new setup then all right bye bye ancestral hat holy shit was that 48 19 like 10 so the max hit of the scythe at chambers is actually 48 so thanks to the ferocious glove we have reached maximum potential with the scythe in terms of power which is awesome to know now there's two mandatory items left to get of course one is tacits and the other one is lance 
So where does the Tacit fit in in all of this solo raid setup? The Tacit isn't going to make my sight stronger, but you know what it will make stronger? The Lance that I will get at the end. Yep, I gain a max up with the Lance with the Tacit. So that way, we are going to be streamlining into our ultimate melee DPS setup of all time, because I'll be using both the sight and the Lance with our 7-3 methods. Regardless if I manage to pull the Sang Staff or even the T-Bow, it doesn't really matter because our last mandatory upgrades will definitely be able to let us PB once again and reach some insane final times. Although it would be nice to have all those other stuff as well. <laughs> so yeah, we still have a shot. There's only about 200 raids left in the series, so I thought, you know what? Let's go ahead and make myself about 200. Two dose super combats. That's what I bring to a normal raise, just two doses. So yeah, this is gonna be enough to cover all the uh, raids. And I have 500 still, four doses for uh, stuff like bandos and TOB and all that, you know? This should be a good spot. Ooh, this is so good. Oh, hell yeah, there you go. Oh, that was the fastest. Three skeleton lore. Holy shit. Finally! Oh my god, 76. Holy crap. That might be my new max with the ferocious gloves or something. Sounds good. Oh my lord. Ah, Vanguard Ice Demon. If you see Vanguard Ice Demon, high chance you're probably wanting to avoid that raid. Wow, 48. Oh my god, that was, a, that was insane. I just hit like an 80 with the scythe. <laughs> what the hell? All right. Wait, actually, I'm just gonna go for the redemption. Just in case. Oof. Just want to be careful. I don't want to mess this up. All right. Oof. My God. Oh, damn. That was way too risky. Oh my God. Good. Good shit, bro. Oh God. Whoa. Yo. Oh my God. I just take eight. God dang. I, I, what was that? Those balls were delayed. <gasps> what? What the hell was that? Yo, you got one take web special. Oh my god, what what are the odds? Wow, that is straight as fuck. Might be straighter than me. God damn. Claws! Oh my god! Psych! Oh my god. No, actually sad. I, I was gonna take the damage, bro. Oh, Defender Hill. Yep, looks like you already got that one. Oh, that was nice. That was a good finisher, boys. Oh, I can actually blow up here. Perfect little vantage point, you know Here's a quick way to set yourself up into 4 to 1 ohm So when you are hitting the melee hand if the ohm is staring in the middle and it shoots you two auto attacks Back to back with very little time in between then all you got to do is go to the pinky and you can set your 4 to 1 cycle like that 1300 that's a big number. That's a big number 50 more KC for the Tacits. Grind soon. Getting close. Getting close. Alright, this safe, this spot's safe. So I can go here. Nice. Only works uh, half the time in the layout. Because each layout has like two, two different aggro positions. I was like, damn. This hand should have been dead already. Oh yeah, server lag. Bro, bro, he's spamming. I don't know what he's doing. Yo, yo, what the frick? What, what? I gotta be careful though. Flame wall is a thing. Oof. 
So a lot of people on Twitch chat has been asking me, hey, how do you deal with the head phase? I'm learning the solo race with the head phase is just the death of them. Let me give you guys one big tip, all right? And it's going to have to do with the rocks, okay? So rocks can fall in two speeds. The first one is slow and the other one is fast. How do you know which one it is? Well, if it's fast rocks, as soon as you see the rocks, even before they touch the ground, if they hit you, that's fast rocks. Whereas slow rocks, if the rocks like basically touch the ground and you're kind of sure that it was going to hit you and it didn't, that means they were slow rocks. So when the rocks are fast, you should try your best to dodge them more rather than trying to maintain your DPS because honestly, you're going to lose more DPS from taking all that damage. It's okay to dodge those rocks, especially when they're fast. When they're slow, however, you can definitely get more hits in. Usually the slow rocks are definitely the easier ohm heads, whereas the fast ones typically are the hard ones. Oh god. Wow. I Dude, that actually reached me, and I somehow didn't even take any damage, so that is very weird. I don't know if I just got lucky, or... Oh shit, did I actually get a thieving level? Oh my god. What the hell, dude? I got a thieving level. Sick, that's gonna help me uh, do this room a little faster. This is very weird, I've never actually... Got a skeletal mystic at the start of this room like that. What the hell? Nice. Oh, purple. Let's go. Let's freaking go, boys. Yes. I remember the last three drops at Chambers was three uh, Shaman Ultras. And uh, trying not to get my fourth Arcane. Okay. Wow, my Arcane Prayer Scrolls is winning, dude. So, so is my Onyx, apparently. My Onyx is winning quite a bit. Oh, time to reset the raid because uh, I ran out of charges. Okay, well, there goes, there goes the raid. Oof, oh my god, that was awesome. I didn't even see that other electricity coming right there. Oof, that was lit. That was, I was pretty proud of that one. That was pretty cool. That I just made. <laughs> I just made that sick dodge. Cool. God. Fucking. Dude. Chill. Chill, Om. <laughs> oh my god, this boss. This boss is being a prick. Oh, goodness. Oh my lord. Oh, Jesus Christ, man. Fucking hell, man. Back to back poisons, bro. Could you not be any more? Oh, shit, I fucked up. Oof. God dang it, man. Great. Man, what the freak? Oh. Ah, great. Now it's fast rocks. Jesus Christ, man. You couldn't make this any harder. Jesus, just die, please. Oh my god, I can't do anything. These f***ing rocks, dude. Holy crap, stop. The amount of times that I had to like, freaking redemption, Jesus. Okay, almost, I almost got the redemption, but I was too late. Ay, ay, ay. No, it's nice. I had some prayer. Oh, oh my god. Alright, here we go. <laughs> oh, nice. Three-way? Another three-way? Oh my god. The back-to-back -back three ways. Wow, that's so cool. Careful. Ooh, if it's green ball, I am so dead. 
I am so dead. Oh, it's dude. Bro, good, good save. Oh, I got a purple though, too. Damn. Hell yeah. Perfect, you know. We got the boy, his first KC, and we got a purple. Hell yeah. What could this be? Is it finally the Sang Staff? 738 tops later. Alright, boys, here we go. Sang Staff, come on, baby. Oh my god. Actual learner got the purple. What? Oh, he didn't die, though. He did not die a lot. Uh, at all, so... Do I open now? Yeah, dude, do whatever you want, bro. <laughs> oh! Wow, nice. You got you got a defender. Oh, damn! What a six-pack. Oh my god. Good job. That was, uh, that was pretty good. Number 750. Three quarters of the way to the deadline. Honestly, dude, I'm starting to think I'm not gonna even make it to the deadline. Oh, no, no purple. No purpies, man. Holy shit. I actually got a mining level. Oh my god. What the? Man, you don't get much XP from here, but uh, yeah, I'm just so consistent at this place. I guess 10 XP drops at a time just get you some levels. Yo, all this video editing. Holy crap. I'm already 91 room crafting. GG. Oh, man. That's actually nuts. Can't believe it, man. All right, managed to get 40 marks after quite some time. Now, let's see what we get here. 130 stamina. Okay, together, uh, we got like, probably like 80, 90, 90 rates worth. 